Rise of the harlot. Now we've made it to 1 Corinthians 12, 1. And it's spiritual gifts. So here we go. Let's read on spiritual gifts. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto those dumb idols. May I hope that Paul's teaching all of us. I know Paul's teaching all of us a lot about idols and idolatry. I just want you to note as we're going through, you know, every single verse that has the word spiritual, none of which are warfare, but how much your spiritual um, should I say your spirit, your spiritual gifts could be diminished because of this idolatry and idols? Really, really take this very, you know, this is an important topic. You know that you were Gentiles carried away unto those dumb idols, even as you were led. Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accursed, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. See that? If you don't have the Holy Ghost in you, the Holy Spirit, you cannot even say Jesus is the Lord. Now, there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are, Paul is so absolutely clear in his teaching. I just want you to see the wisdom of Paul. He, he defines everything. He's clear. He's, he's perfect. He's precise. He's orderly. He's, he's just like God. You know God is in Paul because of how well he clarifies everything that he's saying. I was translated, I was talking about that Bible study, I was translated to uh, Athens, where Paul is standing on the corner, and he's talking about how his spirit was, was um, you know, his spirit was moving inside of him. In other words, writhing in a bad way, because as he's standing there and he's looking at all of the idolatry, his, his spirit is just, you know, it's, it's, it's writhing, literally. I could just feel it. <clears throat> And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit, in other words, the Holy Spirit is going to take many forms as gifts to you. So he's spelling this out. It's the same Spirit. It's the same God. It's not because of idolatry and because of their uh, worship of little G gods. What he's trying to say here, just because I'm going to tell you of the many different spirits gifts gifts of the spirit the holy spirit is going to bring each person a different gift at a different administrational level right there's going to be different kind of uh, you know layers if you will and your gift can mature because the holy spirit does mature in you that's what's happening here he's trying to say look i'm going to be telling you now about the holy spirit and i'm not talking because they, these guys think you have to be in their mindset these people think that the only gift, like if they want to have the gift of healing or the gift of farming or, or, or I, I don't know. I don't know what all, all they wanted back in those days. But whatever it is, they would take an offering to an idol, a little g-god, which was a gigantic, you know, pillar or, or whatever the altars were. And they would take whatever kind of offering that little g-god required of them. Most of them required, you know, the cutting and burning of a baby, the killing and the burning of a baby. Some required pregnant women have them aborted, you know, right there in the public square. And I'm not, I'm serious about this. <laughs> go read, go read Bible history. The, the, the women were, you know, uh, the babies were taken out of the womb of women that were so, so many months pregnant. I don't know how many months. But the point is, he, he's realizing, oh man, if I'm not real clear, okay, if I'm not super clear right now about this, they're going to take this and they're going to apply it to their little g-gods. That, that's what's going on. So, you, so we have to understand Paul is, is doing something pretty dangerous right now. And he's already seen the corruption and the perversion. He's, he's seen that. 
And so I just, I just wanted to put you kind of in the mindset. I wanted to put you in the day, right? These people, their history, all they know is little G gods are everywhere, all right? You can't walk through a village or a town or one city block, and there's, then there's not an altering, and there's not an off, uh, not, uh, there's a the little G god, altar of some type, statue, pillar, whatever, and there's people that are doing sacrifices or leaving stuff behind. So that's what's happening. Okay. Um, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit of the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit. So you see that? I just want you to catch that. Same spirit, same spirit, same spirit, same spirit. There's only one Holy Ghost. There's only one Holy Spirit. But these people are going to twist it. They're going to divert it. And you go start reading history, and they're going to, they're going to take this, and they're going, to, they're going to pervert it, like the false prophets are doing today, like the whole church is doing today. To another faith by the same spirit, to another the gifts of the healing by the same spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another di diverse kinds of tongues to another the interpretation of tongues that's what i've never heard i've seen a lot of people talking in tongues i've never seen anybody um, interpret it you if you're going to talk in tongues then somebody beside you or in the room can interpret that i've never seen that you see all these false prophets they start talking in tongues Yet no one stands at, not only, not only does the prophet not tell you what he just spoke in, in tongues, he's, he's theatrics. He's giving you a show. Okay, it's a performance. He starts screaming in his microphone, some type of weird, dark, fallen angel, whatever. And I never see anybody interpret it. For that reason, I don't pay attention much to tongues. I don't trust that that's not fallen angel language. Is it real? It's real when somebody interprets it. When somebody can interpret it and you can match it against scripture, all right, that person's talking in tongues. It's a real gift. It's a gift. And when somebody around that person can interpret it and you can match that information up with scripture, you can, you can let scripture interpret scripture with whatever was said, that is from God. That's the Holy Spirit. So I'm not discounting in any way talking in tongues. What I'm saying is it's, that everything of this world is a counterfeit and understand and know how to spot a counterfeit. If you can't spot the ice of Jesus from the ex of Jesus, then you're not discerning. I care about your soul's eternal resting place. It's either going to be hot or it's going to be comfortable. <laughs> It's either going to be holy or it's going to be hell. There's only two options here. There's no neutral ground. There's no middle ground. All right, let's keep on with this gifts of the Spirit. But all those worketh the one and the self same Spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. Do you see how Paul, how careful he is? Self same Spirit. He said every single verse he's pointing out, same Spirit. It's the same Spirit, guys. Let's not let's not divert pervert this. All right, let's not go. Do not take this information and assign all of these different gifts to your little G gods. That's what Paul is protecting. And he understands. He's walking amongst these people. His, his, his spirit is, is writhing in him as he has to walk along around these idols. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that body being many or one body, so also in Christ. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, that's a slave, and have been made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? <clears throat> but now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased him, as if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body. 
And I cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head of the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor. And our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. For our comely parts have no need, but God hath tempered. Sorry, yeah. God has tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to the part which lacked, that there shall be no chism in the body, but the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. One member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now, you are the body of Christ, and members in particular, and God has set some in the church, first apostles, secondary prophets, third teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, government, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracle. Having all the gifts of healing, do all we speak with tongues, do all interpret. See right there? If you're going to speak in turns, then that has to be interpreted. But covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. And all God's people said, spread the word.